Hi guys, it's Faith. I'm back with another video. And as you can probably tell by the title of this video, today I'm going to be making some slime. Me and my mom were at Walmart earlier and I went ahead and bought this Elmer's Color Slime Kit. They had a few different kits. Um, they had this one, which I got, obviously. Um, they had a glow in the dark one. They had a dinosaur one. They had a butter slime one, but I went with this one because it was the cheapest. Um, <clears throat> So, yeah, we're going to try it out and see if it's good. Plus, I just want to make slime because I used to make slime all the time in middle school. And um, I haven't made it in forever. So, this should be pretty interesting. Um, anyways, so, as you can see, it's got the instructions on the back. Um, and on the front, on the bottom right here, it tells you what all comes in it. So, it comes with two bottles of glue and two of what they call the magical liquid, so I'm assuming that's the activator for the slime. Um, and on the box it shows a purple one and like a pinkish one, so I'm guessing there's two colors in here, I don't know, we'll see. Now it doesn't come with like spoons and bowls and stuff like that, you have to have that on hand, which I'm pretty sure everyone does, so I went ahead and got that. You need measuring spoons, something to mix it with, and obviously a bowl to put it in. So I went ahead and grabbed all that. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and open it. And as soon as I'm done, I will show you everything that was in it. Okay, so this is everything, minus the bowls and stuff, obviously, that came with... The kit it came with two different colored glues. It came with the activator, two bottles of activator. So now I'm going to go ahead and start making it. Um, and I'm going to make the pink one. So what you do is you empty, it says to empty the entire glue bottle into the bowl, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so I emptied all of it, and the next step is to add two teaspoons of the magical liquid. So, I need to, okay, so now I'm going to open it and do that. Okay, and then, yep, next we stir it, of course, until it's nice and slimy, I guess. I'm going to keep stirring it and I will check back with you whenever I feel like I can take it out and mix it with my hands. Okay, so I do have some slime mixed up. As you can see, I've got this blob of slime right here. Um, I will say, I think you have to be very precise with it because even after putting in the two teaspoons, I don't know if... Um, I over stirred it or what, but it just started turning back into glue. So I added two more and stirred it again, and the same thing happened. So I eventually just took it out, and as you can see, 
it's like very <laughs> it's very messy but luckily it says it's washable so that's a plus um but yeah you just have to be very precise with it I would assume and very careful not to oversteer it but I mean once you get the hang of it it's pretty easy but it is messy so definitely keep that in mind but yeah I'm gonna see if I can make some more and then I'll give you my final thought okay so I have I had to make three different slime balls to get to what we've got here but I mean it finally came together it's definitely very slimy um it's it feels sticky it makes a lot of bubbles though so if you're someone who likes to make bubbles with your slime then you'll like it yeah it's also really pretty this camera doesn't really do it justice but it's in person it is a really pretty pink and I love the color of it so yeah okay so um it was nice to make slime again because like I said I haven't done it in forever and I used to do it all the time in middle school it's fun to play with it is very very sticky um so but I did not like the process of getting there um like I said, I probably just overmixed it. Um, so it took a while to get it right. And your hands definitely get messy. But it's fun. And it works. It works. Um, yeah. It's just really fun to play with. It feels like, y'all know that slum that you used to get like at the store and it was in the container and you could press it and it made fart sounds? That's what this feels like to me. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was just supposed to be a little fun video, um, and it took me back to memory lane because it, it took me back to my middle school days when I loved slime and made slime every day, and yeah. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!